as they race on just outside the two and they're spread across the track with Tide of Time coming under pressure on the left and on the stand side is Buffer Zone trying to challenge then a Leaf and Hammersmith and after them is Master Matt. 20 minutes is running on well as they race to the final furlong. Buffer Zone and Colin Keane come to press. Tide of Time 20 minutes is joining in on the near side. They're inside the last 150 yards. It's Buffer Zone from 20 minutes as they run towards the finish. Buffer Zone 20 minutes. Buffer Zone and 20 minutes as they race on just outside the two and they're spread across the track with Tide of Time coming under pressure on the left and on the stand side is Buffer Zone trying to challenge then a Leaf and Hammersmith and after them is Master Matt 20 minutes is running on well as they race to the final furlong Buffer Zone and Colin Keane come to press Tide of Time 20 minutes is joining in on the near side they're inside the last 150 yards it's Buffer Zone from 20 minutes as they run towards the finish Buffer Zone 20 minutes minutes, buffer zone and 20 minutes. Uh, back in third tide of time, then Master Matt Castle Townsend and a leaf. Gossamer wings, they're just outside the two mark. Speaking Colours and Donica O'Brien coming there to join issue with Gordon Lord Barden and Billy Lee. Then Southern Horse, who's getting into contention for Kevin Manning. Wakening is Julius Magic on the far side is Gossamer wings. Beckford is just behind them. Then Chessman and Woody Creek, they're inside the final 200 yards. It's Speaking Colours just leading Southern Horse. Beckford between horses. Woody Creek is flashing home with Chessman as they go to the finish. Speaking Colours from Woody Creek. Chessman Southern Horse. Gossamer wings, they're just outside the two mark. Speaking Colours and Donica O'Brien coming there to join issue with Gordon Lord Barden and Billy Lee. Then Southern Horse, who's getting into contention for Kevin Manning. Wakening is Julius Magic on the far side is Gossamer wings. Beckford is just behind them. Then Chessman and Woody Creek, they're inside the final 200 yards. It's Speaking Colours just leading Southern Horse. Beckford between horses. Woody Creek is flashing home with Chessman as they go to the finish. Speaking Colours from Woody Creek. Chessman Southern Horse and Beckford next as Speaking Colors continues a brilliant meeting for owner Mrs. Regalado Gonzalez. Little to choose between Old Glory on the rail. The grey is Zoon Noon, then Insignia of Rank. And Pincheck is next with Wee Jim, Nebo and Wisdom Mind. Flight Risk has plenty to do. And then Kanakanoa racing down to the final furlong. It's still Old Glory in front from Zoon Noon. Pincheck up the rail is Insignia of Rank. And staying on is Flight Risk, then Wisdom Mind and Nebo. They're racing into the closing stages. Old Glory and Ryan Moore from Insignia of Rank. Who's closing? Old Glory, Insignia of Rank. Little to choose between Old Old Glory on the rail, the grey is Zoon Noon, then Insignia of Rank, and Pincheck is next with Wee Jim, Nebo and Wisdom Mind. Flight Risk has plenty to do, and then Kanakanoa racing down to the final furlong. It's still Old Glory in front from Zoon Noon. Pincheck up the rail is Insignia of Rank, and staying on is Flight Risk, then Wisdom Mind and Nebo. They're racing into the closing stages. Old Glory and Ryan Moore from Insignia of Rank, who's closing? Old Glory, Insignia of Rank! It's for the judge, then Pencheck, and Zoo Noon, Flight Risk, Nebo next. Buckhurst, the white cap. George Villas on the outside, and they're followed by Lady Wannabe Global Giant and Zabriskie racing down to the final furling and a half. And Buckhurst comes to press. Blenheim Palace, and on the near side is Georgeville, waiting on the rail is Zeba. They're racing into the last 150 yards. It's Buckhurst in front from Georgeville and Blenheim Palace as they go to the line. Buckhurst, another Lloyd Williams colours. Buckhurst, the white cap. George Villas on the outside, and they're followed by Lady Wannabe Global Global Giant and Zabriskie racing down to the final furling and a half and Buckhurst comes to press to Blenheim Palace and on the near side is Georgeville wakening on the rail is Zeba. They're racing into the last 150 yards. It's Buckhurst in front from Georgeville and Blenheim Palace as they go to the line. Buckhurst, another Lloyd Williams colours again on Derby Day beats Blenheim Palace, Georgeville Lady, Wannabe, Global Giant, Zeba and Zabriskie.
Fifth and Basic Law who's staying on. Behind these assault and stall with Master Speaker. Racing down towards the final furlong. Jassar Basic Law is challenging on the outside. The light pink jacket. Then Marshall Jennings. Tony to the Gent and Salt and Stall. They're racing now to the final 100 yards. Basic Law on the near side has got to Jassar as they go towards the line. Basic Law wins it by three parts of a length. Then Basic Law who's staying on. Behind these assault and stall with Master Speaker. Racing down towards the final furlong. Jassar Basic Law is challenging on the outside. The light pink jacket. Then Marshall Jennings. Tony to the Gent and Salt and Stall. They're racing now to the final 100 yards. Basic Law on the near side has got to Jassar as they go towards the line. Basic Law wins it by three parts of a length from Jassar. Salt and Stall stayed on well. Then Marshall Jennings and Turnbury Isle. As it's a double and derby day for Colin Keane and Ger Lines. Sleeves on the near side of Romero, horse with the nose band. On the left hand side is Siskin, who's tracked by Monarch of Egypt, and then comes Real Force. Racing past the two, and Siskin over on the far side has come to pick it up. Followed quickly through by Monarch of Egypt, then Fort Mars. Romero's dropped back, but Siskin is the leader. Starting to get on now from Monarch of Egypt, and then Fort Mars as they race into the closing stages. It's Siskin in front as they run towards the finish. A good day gets brilliantly better for Colin Kane and Ger Lines. Sleeves on the near side of Romero, horse with the nose band. On the left hand side is Siskin, who's tracked by Monarch of Egypt. And then comes real force. Racing past the two and Siskin over on the far side has come to pick it up. Followed quickly through by Monarch of Egypt and Fort Mars. Romero's dropped back but Siskin is the leader. Starting to get on now from Monarch of Egypt and then Fort Mars as they race into the closing stages. It's Siskin in front as they run towards the finish. A good day gets brilliantly better for Colin Kane and Ger Lines as Siskin extends his unbeaten record over six furlongs. Monarch of Egypt followed home by Fort Mars. Real force and detached Romero Merlo. Rackan and Il Paradiso racing past the two and it is Sovereign and Porig Beggy and now four lengths in front in second place is Norway Anthony Van Dyke, Mad Moon they're going to get, to get after Sovereign who is not stopping at the furlong pole it's Sovereign and Porig Beggy Anthony Van Dyke has moved into second place but it is Sovereign Sovereign and Porig Beggy as they run to the finish has won the Dubai Judy Free Irish Derby Rakan and Il Paradiso racing past the two and it is Sovereign and Porig Beggy and now four lengths in front in second place is Norway Anthony Van Dyke Mad Moon they're going to get to get after Sovereign who is not stopping at the furlong pole it's Sovereign and Porig Beggy Anthony Van Dyke has moved into second place but it is Sovereign Sovereign and Porig Beggy as they run to the finish has won the Dubai Judy Free Irish Derby it's a surprise, Anthony Van Dyke second, then Mad Moon, Norway and guaranteed, Broom, El Paradiso and Reckon. Then Contraposto down the outside from the back chest Grandmaster. Then David's charm and days without end. Racing now towards the final furling and a half. And legal spin is kicked on. Two lengths in front of Shakespeare's galley. Abraham David's charm is staying on against the rail. Then Tirmizi and Contraposto. Shakespeare's galley is coming to legal spin. As they run up towards the finish. Shakespeare's galley has got up to win it from legal spin. Then Contraposto down the outside from the back chest Grandmaster. Then David's charm and days without end racing now towards the final furling and a half and legal spin is kicked on two lengths in front of Shakespeare's galley Abraham David's charm is staying on against the rail then Tirmizi and Contraposto Shakespeare's galley is coming to legal spin as they run up towards the finish Shakespeare's galley has got up to win it from legal spin David's charm a few lengths back then to Abraham Joseph O'Brien has had a super meeting